Manchester United have proved once again what a fantastic drawing card they are. Surely the greatest in the whole of football in Britain. The gates were closed here half an hour before the kickoff, and all reserved seats were sold weeks ago. Now Chelsea, who've won their last four games, still leave out Charlie Cook, and today 100,000 baht Alan Burtonall is the substitute. But they welcome back their midfield star, Peter Osgood. Peter Osgood, a player of grace, elegance and efficiency, wearing number 10. Manchester United have no Bobby Charlton, but they do have back up to injury Willie Morgan and Dennis Law, who today is captain. Now, Dennis Law, on his day, is one of the sharpest men in the game. The Scottish international has had quite a few good days this season. The Manchester United, wearing the white shorts, kick off. A team doing badly in the league, only two wins in their last nine league games, but still rising to the big occasion. And have already, once again, to the semi-final of the European Cup. Now, Osgood, the ground, very, very sticky indeed. Osgood finding Hollands and a corner to Chelsea. The ground staff worked hard on this ground until half past nine last night. Tons of sand have been put on the thick, clinging mud. Tambling to take the corner kick. The Manchester defenders were caught a bit flat-footed that time. You notice when Tamling floats the ball across, watch Dempsey head it, and the man who really does the damage is Hausman. There's nobody there to cover him at all. He, he runs onto the scene completely unmarked. He's coming on into the picture now. There he is, and he hits this ball in full stride. He hits it well, but even after Stepney miraculously gets to the ball, look at Fitzpatrick. He should still get this ball away, but he doesn't. He has two left legs, and then Webb turns up on the scene and just rams the ball into the back of the net. 60 seconds gone. Manchester United on a goal down. Best. As usual, Harris there close to him. And it's a great save by the net is from McCready. Baron to take it. Oh, Benetti! Oh, it's going for Benetti. It's really going for him this afternoon to get that rebound from Webb. Pillar bobbing up in free space. And a clever thinking footballer, this boy, Johnny Boy. this by Boyle but the man who makes this goal is the youngster Ian Hutchinson you'll see him number nine you can see him just on the left now watch him have to check and he gets hold of the ball under control slips it through Sadler's legs and he still runs on to take the one-two passing movement uh, with Tambling outpaces everybody else and scores what really is a fine goal so two goals to nil Chelsea lead across the centre but just count the number of players who missed the ball as it comes across there's nothing ma magical about this centre at all but everybody seems to go for it and the ball just sneaks away from it, it really is incredible that the ball could 
across a crowded penalty area like that. Now, you'd think some of the defenders would get it away, wouldn't you? But no, they don't, and James moves on the blind side. He's quicker off the mark than everyone else. Benetti sees him, makes this despairing dive, but James carries on and scores what really is an opportunist goal, but the opportunity should never have been presented. Two of those three goals scored by defenders, Chelsea the all dark strip to kick off the second half and the way the defences have been forced into errors we can we'll see many more goals than three in the second half best kid to law Sadler and his best and what a wonderful save by Manetti and how can such a frail-looking character like George Best hit a ball so hard? Well, by Kidd on Harris. Best of beauty to Kidd. Fitzpatrick.
Troy Hutchinson seems to be a husband. Hutchinson, oh, he almost did it. A beautiful one dropped by that near post. Harris, Osgood, and the whip! I think it's offside anyway, yes, it is indeed offside. Shankly point that they need only one castle during the war, and then beat at Anfield on the and two point leads with hand or by Leach then Manchester robbed home in half getting through one of them 18 year old Ian and so at the bottom Queen Range is really look doomed that's an unknown name among the fighters isn't it Manchester United second division like Derby Cardiff and all won one as Mill did last night at Middlesbrough 3-0 till a very tight 